Alright, what's going on guys? So today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're going to be doing a pre-4th anniversary OPBR tier list. And I'll probably do a post-4th anniversary tier list as well, after we do go through all of the anniversary phase and stuff, get our EXs. Should be getting like 3 EXs this time. Um, one fairly soon in around 6 days. Uh, on January 1st, so on New Year's, we should be getting a new EX, like a New Year's EX type type thingy. And that's going to be cool. They're going to be doing a little live stream. Uh, probably reviewing the EX on December 30th. If we take a look at the tier list right now, it is the same exact tier list that we left off on when Shanks came out. Shanks, Uta, and a lot of the Film Red units uh, around 3.5 anniversary. So this is how the tier list looked. And we have to add all of these new year, newer units. So starting with Film Red Nami, all the way up to now King, we have to add all those units in. And yeah, so we got a lot a lot of work to do, but I have already made a couple changes to the tier list. Uh, SS and S remains the same. I'm going to I'm going to work with it with you guys to see how the meta shifted. There's going to be a lot of changes. Um, A is still the same. And B and C I combined into one tier. So there's been a little, uh, a couple changes here, and C tier is now what was previously the D tier, and it's just pretty much units you would just not even touch, not even touch, right? So C tier is gonna be units you don't touch, B tier is gonna be units that you can play for fun. You're gonna lose matches most likely. You could play these units for fun. A tier units are gonna be like, okay, if you got these, you could definitely work with them. And S units are going to be top tier units and SS units are going to be the best of the best. Like if you have any of these, even in any order, like I try ordering this for SS and S at least, uh, A, B and C are kind of just unordered, like whatever, just a little bit of order, but not really. But for, for SS, most of these units, if you have them, you're going to be golden. You're going to be golden. You're in the meta. This is the meta and you should be able to do a lot a lot in SS League but for context I am going for top 100 this season uh, I believe it's season 94 but I should be able to provide good information regarding the meta because I have some experience from just playing a bunch of matches all right so before we begin adjusting the tier list and also you know adding the new characters to the tier list I just want to explain to you what the top left um, little little icon means for each of these if you're a newer player you're probably like ex bf sp like what does this all mean right so let me just just explain to you guys how it works so in opbr uh we have a couple different tiers of units so at the bottom we have the free units and also like the two stars and three stars some of these some of these free units are either four star they start off at four star or they start off at three star and the two stars, you pretty much everyone gets them in the game just from like summoning and stuff, right? You get a bunch of those. So um, that's like the bottom tier. But some of these free units are good. So if you take a look, like we have Tashigi up here. We also have Wiper, who's really good. And there's two Kakus here. Ignore that. I don't know why there's two Kakus, but they're, they're together. It's He's a four star, not a bounty fest. And um, that actually brings me to my next point on top of... Um, the free and two star three star units we have the step up units and the step up units in here are actually labeled as four star so if you see four star four star and there's some four star even up in s tier so these are step up units uh, generally you could get them um, from playing league battle and collecting league battle points and once you get those league battle points you could buy them in the league battle shop You'll see a bunch of their frags. Uh, 200 frags is pretty much equivalent to getting one copy from summoning. So if you're buying those daily, uh, you should be able to get a bunch of frags. And uh, I don't know the correct math for it, but you could do the math and see how many days it'll take for you to get uh, a unit max just from buying it from the frag shop. And on top of step up units, 
are actually bounty fast units. This is where you see BF on here, BF, 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 a lot of BFs here. And um, these units are a little more difficult to get in terms of summoning because you can't actually, you have to summon for them when they come out. They get added to the bounty fest every month or so um, pool. Uh, so you could get the old bounty fest units in the when the new one drops. But this is like a monthly thing. You can't really get them for free with the frags. But if you buy special training or if you buy the special bonus pass, I forgot what it is called. But one of those passes for like $5, you could pretty much open up a special shop where you could buy these bounty fest frags as well. So that's the best way to differentiate between bounty fest and step ups. If you look at the two shops, the special shop is for the bounty fest and then the standard league battle shop is for step ups. So that's when people ask me, how do I know if this character is a step up or bounty fest? You generally look over there. We also have the SP. These are the special units. They're pretty much like bounty fest, right? They're, they're very similar to bounty fest, except you can't buy their their frags in the special shop or the regular shop and these units pretty much only came out once they came out for their movie events that's why i tried picking all of them up like i did get to sorrow i did get beckman bullet uh boa but they never returned yet so that's the thing only one that did return is actually bullet the other two stampede units and actually uta did return once so uh they don't all like never return and maybe they might all like have a return eventually but they're just generally more rare and the biggest thing is you can't buy their frags in the shops so now we have the free three star units on the bottom we have the step ups we have the bounty fest we have special and then all the way at the top we have the ex units or also known as the extreme units these units are like the best of the best um, of course some of the older ones like Blackbeard and Shanks the first two to come out um, are a little lower even Big Mom is a little lower in the tiers uh, we, they might get some adjustments when we go into the adjustment phase of this but even EX's can get lowered but for the most part as you can see SS tier is full with the EX's how can you tell if the, uh, someone is an EX well, first of all, there's not too many EXs. This is every EX in the game, you can see. Uh, we're gonna get more, of course. But these are pretty much equivalent to like the legendary, like the LRs in Dokkan, the LFs, or the Ultras in um, Legends. Like those those crazy rare units, the, the EX are equivalent to those. But in order to tell if a unit is an EX unit, if you've never seen it before, you could go into their skills tab and when you look at their character profile page. And when you scroll down, uh, their team boost little trait will be like shiny rainbow, like a shiny rainbow. And that's different from uh, the regular units. So they get EX team boost, uh, which is different than regular team boost with the normal units. And uh, the EX team boost is actually like pretty OP. Uh, it, people don't really like, think about it, but the more EXs there are on your team, there's going to be four times, like if there's four EXs on your team, there's going to be four EX team boost and it just makes everyone like one shot like it, it'll just, it's crazy it, it's just crazy it's crazy but with all that being said and you guys knowing how pretty much the OPBR character pyramid works uh, now we're gonna move on and actually adjust this tier list starting from top down and after we adjust the tier list we'll add in the new characters so starting over here EX Shanks still top EX Luffy still top and we're gonna talk about that when we talk about King but EX Luffy is doing great in this King meta and it is definitely a King meta for sure and we also have um, Marco Marco's definitely up there still uh, Akainu Roger up there Yamato I might actually move up just right there because Yamato is insane in top 100 still one of the craziest runners I've ever seen and yeah, Yamato's up there. Then we got Odin. Uh, Odin's amazing as well, but I'm gonna keep him down here. Uh, Zephyr, very annoying, very annoying. I'm gonna be moving him up probably past EX Luffy. I've been seeing a lot of Zephyrs 
and they be doing their thing. He's definitely a Shanks counter. He's definitely a Shanks counter. I fought a bunch of Zephyrs and my Shanks is amazing. I won't die necessarily fast, but it's impossible to kill him. Like it's so difficult to kill him. Um, so yeah, Zephyr's definitely up there. Kaido, uh, Kaido is gonna stay down there. Uta is gonna be moved up around here. Yup, Uta is insane. Uta is just ridiculous in this game. She could just, she could clap everyone. It's crazy. It's crazy. A lot of the top players will vouch for me. And you guys might think I'm crazy when I'm putting Uta that high. But she is truly the definition of a hidden EX. The only thing she doesn't have is the amount of traits as an EX. And also that EX team boost. Otherwise, she's just ridiculous. She's insane. Dofi, honestly, is gonna get dropped down a bit. I don't think he's SS tier unit no more. Parasparrow, definitely not an SS tier unit no more. Ulti, she just, when I look at other people in this, um, you know, other people there, she just not, she's not on that caliber, you know? So all these guys have dropped down a bit. Our SS tier is looking a little cleaner. Let's work on the S tier, just sort it out, see if anyone drops. Shiki needs to get moved up. Shiki is actually a great um, runner for sure. We also have, oh, I could keep their positions here. This is good. Uh, Jozu, Jozu's not too bad still, as long as you're landing the counters and stuff. Still doing amazing. Of course, he nullifies status effects, so I will move him up just because there's so much status effect units. But at the same time, I'm looking at Shanks, and Shanks doesn't even care about his diamond state. So back down he goes, actually. I just I just thought of that right now. Jack, not bad. He, he, he just... I don't know. Maybe I'm not the best with Jack. <laughs> same with Vista. I'm not the best with Vista either. But I guess my bias... This is going to be a little biased... Uh, tier list as well like you're trying to get my opinion so I don't know uh, you're, you're gonna get some bias of course and uh, with that being said I'm gonna move my boy Tesoro up because uh, I love Tesoro I think he's an amazing unit obviously not no SS tier but I think I think he could do a better job in the meta right now than even Parasparrow uh maybe not maybe not even Parasparrow and Dofi they're like, they're like similar level, alright? They're like similar level, I'll say that. And a Bullet, he, he got his shine after he got his buff. So I'll, I'll, I'll give him that, but at the same time, he's not, like, nothing crazy. Uh, Kid, I will move up, just because he's doing really good right now it, with, against Kings. Even against Shanks, he's not bad. So I'm gonna actually move him up here. Kid is like, he's, he's a unit that aged very well. Uh, that's what I'll say. He aged very well. Unlike Law, actually, uh, which I'm kind of sad to see. Law is just, you know, he's he's the same with Zoro too. They didn't age like crazy well because attackers, attackers are always being upgraded and stuff. There's always better attackers, and yeah, it's very annoying. Soba Mask. I know some Soba Mask players, and when they're on the enemy team, you know you're losing the match. You know you're losing the match. So. So Mask is going to be moved up. He The invisibility is just ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. And I just, I, I love it. I love it. He's a great unit. He's definitely a great unit, especially for getting wins. We're talking about wins here, not just like kills and, and all that. When it comes to winning, Soba Mask will get you wins, okay? Got Usopp. He's going to get lowered down here. He's going to get lowered. Shiryu's good for the King meta, so I'll keep him up there. Sabo needs to be pumped up a little bit. I will pump him up around this caliber as well. He's definitely, he's definitely up there. And who we got? Uh, these look good. I noticed I didn't really talk about Beckman. It's cause like I'm kind of, I'm kind of neutral with him. If y'all was waiting for me to talk about him, it just like, 
I don't know. Sometimes I've seen people be very annoying, especially with um, people that don't nullify status effects. But if you nullify status effects, aka Shanks, you just clap someone like Beckman, right? So he's kind. Of, I'm like kind of neutral with him right now. But moving on, Luffy, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drop him down just a little. Like, I'm sorry if you're maining Luffy. I know how amazing he is, but I haven't used him recently. I really haven't. Actually, he. now I'm looking at the other characters. Izo needs to be dropped down to A. He, 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 don't, he, don't, he don't belong here. So, S units would be considered meta units. Like, I'll, I'll say you could use them in League. And some of these guys right now. Even Rayleigh. It needs to be like lowered a bit. White beard. Yeah, white beard I've tried using in, in League. Stampy Bow is actually doing really good in the King meta right now. She's super annoying for King players. You just have to run away from her. And she's she's very annoying. I'll say she's over Ray for sure. Golden Week, I'm actually gonna leave here because she is still annoying with that invincibility trait and that annoying little paintbrush where you can't use any skills, similar to Beckman. Queen, I have seen queens like do stuff, <laughs> like defend the flag for a second, but they honestly just get wiped. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of, they kind of get wiped. So um, Queen, I'm actually gonna drop down to A. Yeah, I wouldn't use him in, I wouldn't use him in top SS. Uh, same with Katakuri, he's gonna get dropped down. Sentamaru, pretty much gonna get dropped down. Luchi is gonna get dropped down to A. Wow, this is crazy. Um, Wano Frankie, he's gonna get dropped down. He's he's a fun unit, but he's gonna get dropped down. Soul King, um, he's gonna get dropped down. <laughs> people are gonna hate me right now. All right, people are gonna hate me, but I'm sorry. I'm playing in the meta, all right? I'm playing on the meta, and I kind of know how it's going. It's 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 just it's just not it. Like, you can't use these guys. You can't. Um, I hate to say it. Like, they're fun. You could pop off if you're, like, a main, you know? Probably for, like, a match. But consistently, trying to climb, climb, like, ranks with that character, meaning you have to get more wins than losses, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen with these A units. Like, you can have fun with these A units, all right? But S units gotta be, like, meta, pretty much. And SS is just <laughs> the real meta. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just keep going. All right, um, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I'll 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 listen to y'all in the comments afterwards. All right, so I just went ahead and took some time to adjust the tier list myself, and SS is still the same. I adjusted S a bit, dropped down like Vista and Golden Week and stuff. Like they're amazing units still, but like I would not want people. Like, I I would rather not see that in in top 100 or like in SS League when you're trying to grind but at the same time you could probably you could probably like pull it off and get a dub if you're a skilled player so that's why I left them in A of course but um for the most part if I see units in S I'll be like okay um I can kind of trust the top units I'll definitely trust but as you go down the line it's like it's like eh, it's all right it's all right but mainly, of course, top 100, you would want units that are in SS and all that. SS is definitely the meta units. S units is like usable. A units is like you could play for fun. B units is like usable, but you shouldn't use. C units are like just don't even touch. Don't even touch. So that's pretty much how it works. And that is the adjusted tier list. Let me go a little slowly so y'all can see. And I will link this whole tier list in the end. Uh, I, the final result in the description so you guys could check it out yourself and explore it instead of you know pausing the video and stuff and it'll be on the discord as well so definitely look out for that i'll pin it in one of the chats but now let's get into adding the new units into the tier list so starting with film red nami um she's gonna go up up in s because um a lot of people don't use her but she is actually very, very useful. And I'm going to plop her uh, above above Tesoro. She's, I wouldn't say she's more useful than Ulti. 
but probably more useful than the rest of the units here because just because of her invisibility i've had games where i didn't get touched once because i get the flag go invisible they just never see me and just keep going so film red nami definitely up there film red chopper he's a cool gimmicky character and you could um a lot a lot like a support unit he's like inurashi but instead of giving your second character attack you gave your second character defense so um honestly i'm gonna leave him somewhere around there like um you can't like he's not he's really not that good but yeah i, I think he he is deserving of a rank just because of that defense um transfer trait so not bad not bad uh usap so usap it's definitely gonna go up here maybe he could go above god usap maybe above shiryu as well because i have seen get light and get light's the only one who really mains usap i don't see a lot of usaps and me personally i don't even like usa but he can do a lot of damage to attackers and stuff and honestly i might even put him above um like beckman i'd rather see a usap in my team than a beckman um to be honest Maybe even, maybe even Jack. No. Probably not Jack. Yasop. Again, Get Light is my reference for Yasop. And right now, I would put him above Chozu most likely. Just because his anti-flag cap thingy is just so good. If you hit someone with it, they just won't be able to catch the flag. Especially if you hit a king with it, you'll make the king useless. And it's amazing. It's amazing. So Yasap definitely gets that spot. Bellamy uh, is going to get a, a nice juicy spot in B rank. Do not use this man. Please do not use him. I'm going to put him like here probably i'd rather use kobe and kyoshiro over him i just don't know what they were thinking i mean i guess he's like decently fast so i'll give him that but at the same time like uh, honestly i put like i put like that man wiper over him probably even kaku over him i just don't like bellamy i think he's I think he's pretty whack all right next we got diamante and diamante is actually um pretty decent like i like what they were going for him but honestly, I haven't seen too many Max Diamante, so I can't say much about him. But if I was to give him, like, like if I was to guess how he's doing, uh, I think he he would be above, like, I think he'd be above Shiryu. Because he's able to get rid of people's, um, you know, self status effects, like Shanks and stuff, with his normal attack. So, that's really nice. Alright, next we have Treble. And Treble is gonna go in SS. This man's is just a beast. I'm gonna put him up like, probably not above Zephyr and stuff. Maybe not above this. Maybe not all the way here, but I'll put him like, I'll put him here. He's not like all the way above, but his dodges and stuff, I I would, I think he's like better than Kaido um, in a way. And yeah, his dodges are just ridiculous. He could get kings off the treasure with his normal and his skill one. So definitely deserving of a top spot in SS. And next, oh, we got we got Shinobu. Shinobu is just not it for me. Um, I don't know if people are really using her. Maybe I'll drop her an A around like down, down by here somewhere. Um, but to me, Shinobu doesn't look all that crazy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it down there. Raizo, I've seen some cool, cool stuff with Raizo, but also at the same time, yeah, I think he's uh, like an A, A rank unit, maybe somewhere, somewhere around here or so, or like somewhere around here. I don't know if he would be better than Luffy and stuff, but yeah, Raizo could do some cool stuff with his long range normals and then his little like teleport or like long range. It's not a teleport skill, but he like plops someone in front of you. And it's pretty funny. Next we have X Drake, who's honestly not all that great. I've seen some good gameplay from Get Light, of course, but at the same time, um, in the meta, he just doesn't do too great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him around top, like top A rank, and yeah, maybe maybe below Bullet. Um, but he can do good against kings, so that's that's definitely a plus for him. Oh, next we have Hyoguro. 
and uh, I do know Hyogiro very well because um, Yeni was going for number one Hyogiro at the time and she did get it so good for her but um, I did see a lot a lot of Hyogiro um, gameplay just from her so um, honestly he heals a lot and stuff and he's actually like not a bad defender so I'm gonna I'm give him like a top spot in A um, yeah, he, he he could he could hold his own, especially with the Shanks is running around. I was surprised he was doing so well. Okay, finally getting to the boy King. Let's see, let's see. We're gonna just plop him up there, and I'm gonna give him a top spot in SS, right above Zephyr, not above Yamato. Y'all y'all be crazy to think. I'm putting him over Yamato. Yamato is busted, okay? Yamato is so busted. And I did the poll on YouTube where I asked who's the best runner is. Everyone said King. I don't think that's the case. I think Yamato is the best runner. Or or maybe not the best runner. Maybe the best overall unit. Um, because she has damage like crazy. Her counter is just always up 24-7. And she's just crazy. But that being said, King is ridiculous. He really changed the meta single-handedly as soon as he dropped everyone stopped using shanks everyone's trying to counter king because the kings are just ridiculous there's kings everywhere and once he gets on the flag he has three dodges and um he does a lot of damage to attackers with his skill too he could pretty much one shot shanks and stuff and um the skill one's like a teleport he was like an improved marco in a way super fast on skill two and he's a beast he's literally a beast so I was not expecting that for them to drop a crazy unit right before fourth anniversary like him. Uh, but the fact that they did just, I'm like, whoa, who is going to be the fourth anniversary EX? How crazy is he going to be or she, uh, you know, Big Mom, Cough Cough or Yamato. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. If King's this crazy already, I don't know what they're going to do for fourth anniversary, but I'm excited. I'm super excited, but also scared at the same time because the meta changed way too fast with King. It changed way too fast. I was literally grinding top 100, abusing Shanks. King comes out, the meta changed like that, and it's just, it's it's crazy. So, yeah. And last but not least, we have Adio Suerte, and this guy is honestly a really good free unit. He's a special unit at the same time, but he is a free unit, um, so everyone gets him for free right now. And I'm gonna put him in uh, around A rank. He's actually really like he's really fun, and he's got that that swag with his skill two and stuff. So I'm gonna put him around here, like pretty good. Maybe not all the way up here. Like you, I wouldn't use him like really up like, in SS and stuff. Maybe below Whitebeard and all that. Yeah. That being said, that is the tier list and. Yeah, look at look at King all the way up there. Man's a beast. I really just want to see where King would place. And of course, uh, I just want to say that obviously this tier list is not perfect. And obviously this tier list has my bias because it's based on my experience in League and um, you know just how how I play units, how what units I played, what units I faced, all that, what I've seen on YouTube, what I've seen with other players, all that. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the tier list. Um, of course, there's going to be a couple people that are going to be like, yo, you forgot to move up this guy or this guy because you main him. And um, for a lot of these, uh, keep in mind, it's not like an order. All right. The order is not crazy. I would have done a top 10 uh, characters list or something like that instead of a tier list. The tiers is for these units are beast. S units are, you know, usable, usable in in like SS rank. A units is like, you could have fun with them, maybe get some dubs. B units, you could have fun with them, probably won't get dubs. C units, you're just not gonna get dubs, you're not gonna have fun because it's just, they're just not it, they're not it. So that's pretty much how the tiers are made, right? But within, within them, there's general ordering, not like everyone's like ordered, like I'm not gonna say Soba Mask is worse than, than um, Kid, right? There, I've seen so much that are like better than Shanks even. So just keep all that in mind when you're looking at this tier list and watching the video and stuff and better comment something crazy like, I don't know, like, you know, 
<laughs> but um, yeah, that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the tier list. Definitely leave a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the Discord, of course. I'll put the link in the description. And I'll also pin this tier list in probably the announcement, uh, announcement tab. So you guys always have a um, reference to this tier list until I update it and, you know, do another one for post fourth anniversary. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm excited to see how the meta is going to shift again with all the new EXs that are going to drop in fourth anniversary. And yeah, we're, we're, we're going to see soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video. Peace.